This is the A-Stone EC20. Uh, it's uh, probably the second or third tape echo that was uh, manufactured by the A-Stone company, which is the ancestor of uh, the Roland Corporation, uh, the same founder for both companies. This company from, uh, was from the mid-60s to mid to late 70s. This is probably a mid-70s uh, tape delay. Um, it's pretty interesting. It has a good amount of features. It has many, many inputs, as you can see, a mic level. Uh, the vocal amp input is very interesting because it allows for a wet-only output in the vocal amp output here, which is very convenient. Uh, echo time is the speed of the tape, basically motor speed. It's not a huge difference, but it does, it does make quite an impact. Uh, echo effects is uh, simply uh, the feedback, they call it echo effects. Echo depth is the volume mix with the dry sound if you're using these, uh, these inputs. Uh, there's a switch here, a brightness switch for the echo signal. Uh, and you've got the head selection. Uh, basically this is a four uh, head unit, well you've got uh, the erase head, the right head and the four playback heads. Uh, the playback heads can be com uh, controlled here. It's possible to select more than one. And there's also a button that allows you to select one, two, three. It gives a kind of a reverb shimmer type. Um, this is a, basically a peak control uh, indicator, a peak level indicator uh, for the inputs. It's pretty useful to show you how, uh, how strong your inputs are. Um, this is a kind of a monitor light, shows you when the unit is on. It's very dim, but uh, in a very dark room it looks pretty cool with the cover on, which uh, has a plexiglass here. So, uh, okay, let's uh, plug a few things in and see what it sounds like. Alright, so I've got here my trusty Yamaha MR10 drum machine. It's a fully analog drum machine that I got in a yard sale for $2 many years ago. Lucky me. So let's see what it sounds like. I've got it straight in the mic level uh, control. I've got two heads activated right now. Effects are pretty much at the max for this. Let's see. All right, let's see what the different heads do. There are bad contacts here. Takes a while for them to activate. Okay, so this is basically head number one. It's the shortest one. If I remove the, just get one hit. This is pretty much the slowest, longest delay that you can get on this device because the speed is at minimum and this is the longest, the farthest away head. So that's pretty much it. It's much more fun with more effect.
So you can combine a few of them. This is the one, two, three. All right, let's try plugging in a couple more things in there. So I still have my MR10 and now I've also added the Roland SH101. It's actually a cousin of the A-Stone company, so they go very well together. Not this guy though, he's like competition, but anyway. So uh, let's just try out some sounds. <laughs> 